Hello everybody. So, I tried really hard not to comment yesterday on the 25 basis point increase in interest rates, but it happened. And uh, I think this is entirely crazy. This is just uh, exacerbating the issues uh, in the banking si system that was created by the sharp rise in interest rates by the by the speed at which interest rates rose this is what has created this crisis not the interest rates per se if the interest rates had gotten to five percent over say a five-year period the system would have had time to adapt because we've had the, the, the quickest rate hike cycle in the history of rate hikes this is why we have things that break in the system and I have been saying multiple times on the channel, but I'm not the only one. I've been saying that they need to cut rates at least 1%. They should have cut rates, in my view, maybe more. But no, that is not what they decided. They decided to increase rates. And also, they decided to make a statement. And one of the statements that has been advertised all over and that I've heard myself during the, the presser and I could not believe is when Powell said the banking system is sound and resilient. Kind of sounds like what Jamie Dimon said on Monday. It's sound. Yes, the banking system is sound. On Monday, Jamie Dimon said it was over. Now Powell says it's sound and resilient. So what are we supposed to think right now? What are we supposed to think right now when we have PacWest minus 60%, WAL minus 20, 28%, First Horizon minus 26%? What are we supposed to say now? Right? Is it still sound and resilient? And I believe there is a lot to say about trust in this because, yes, Jay Powell is a very important person, but he also said back in 2020, he said, we are not thinking about thinking about raising rates. And rates were not supposed to go up uh, uh, prior to 2024. And this is something that Yellen had said too. And of course, they did a 180. So when we hear the first chair of the Fed tell us today that the system is sound and resilient, it is only logical. That's why I titled this video. It is only logical. It is only logical that people are moving their money away. Uh, right? I mean, we should take this statement with a grain of salt and people are, are moving out of regional banks and this crisis is spreading and the interest rates need to drop. Otherwise, there will be more companies like this to drop. And, and, and we're going to have another weekend with a busy FDIC. And, 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 and again, I'm not the only one seeing this, but I mean, I mean, look, look at the, the sadness of this. This is minus 70 over the past five days, right? Uh, this one over minus 72 percent this one year year uh, over over the past was it three or four days almost minus 50 percent they have they've had their acquirer go 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 away and say td bank said oh we're not acquiring you first horizon this is this is clearly spreading this is another one western boots not, not boots uh, western alliance bank corp uh minus 52 percent in one day so um I have two new points of concerns about this, and that's just the point of this video. One point of concern is that this is getting out of Silicon Valley and San Francisco. When we, when, 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 when this all started with First Republic and Silicon Valley Bank, this was mostly a Silicon Valley thing, and people were not very concerned. Well, now this is getting out, and this is coming more to uh, non-Silicon Valley banks, right? Uh, PacWest, for example, is a Los Angeles bank, but uh, Western Lions Bank Corp. is from Phoenix, Arizona, and First Horizon is a Tennessee bank so this is this is really affecting more than just silicon valley regional banks so that's point number one which i think is a point of concern for me point of concern number two is that i am beginning to see this as not just an fdic issue because yes when you were talking about silicon valley bank that was an fdic issue right i mean roku having half a billion dollars of silicon valley bank the $250,000 of insurance was not enough and that was going to be a concern. But as you're moving to banks that are more, you know, common people, you know, co common type of banks, consumer-facing banks, as you're moving towards banks like this, it's not the 250 k that's an issue anymore. It is people simply not keeping ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 on the savings account offered by those banks, but moving it to a savings account offered or to another solution, such as treasuries or cities, offered by other financial institutions. So money is actively coming out out of regular consumers. And, and, and I think that is one of the risks. That is one of my points of concerns. And of course, what we've seen is because the interest rates are, are so high right now, because the Fed raised interest rates so high, it is easy for a lot of banks to offer really, really, really 
compelling yield like apple apple card at 4.15 right when you are a technology company and you have no no branches it's easy for you to offer this service and the service this this interest rate this t t type of savings account service with bad interest rate cannot be offered with a local by a local regional bank it's not it's not possible right they have too too much overhead uh, i was seeing uh, fhn i think has something like like almost 8000 employees for example so it's not not possible for these companies to offer this um, this is another, another example that this is happening, that you have regular consumers that may be moving money out of your savings account at regional banks and, and into higher yielding. Uh, to give you an, an example here, this, this tweet from SoFi has been seen more than 50 million times. If you go back to this tweet and you look at the at the number of people who have seen, seen it, it's, it's been seen more than 50 million times, this tweet. Uh, so so again, the, these, these savings account solutions and their interest rates are getting advertised and people are getting more aware of it and they're moving money there. So, so it's not just an FDIC issue. In my view, it's an issue that the interest rates right now uh, on, on savings accounts are, are just so high that as long as they stay that high, a lot of consumers are going to be willing to make the switch to a new financial institution. This is good for a company like SoFi. This is good for a company like Apple. This is not so good for a regional bank who can't offer these high 4 plus percent interest rates. And that's all I have to say about this. I tried really hard to not talk about it, but this is such breaking news right now. It's, it's really sad. This is not investment advice. This is just entertainment. I appreciate your likes. I appreciate any new subscriber and existing subscriber. Thank you and have a great day.